people say they're excited about the new CDC mask guidance that allows fully vaccinated people to take off their mask in some indoor settings. But if you live in Omaha, you can't legally do that just yet. And some doctors are actually OK with that. KETV News Watch 7's Quinesia Fraser spoke with them on the mask guidance change. Quinesia. David Alexandra, for more than a year, people have been having to mask up, but now they're ready to take the masks off. And the doctors I spoke to say it all comes down to personal responsibility and getting vaccinated. How does that feel? Ernie Goss is fully vaccinated. I am liberated. And ready to say bye to his face mask. Let's get vaccinated so you can enjoy these perks of being inside and outside without a mask. But doctors say the key word here is vaccinated. Unvaccinated people really need to continue to do what they've been doing. In other words, epidemiologist Dr. Ann O'Keefe says unvaccinated people need to keep wearing masks. The advice is based on evidence that vaccination works and it does prevent illness and it prevents um, you from spreading it to others. People who are not vaccinated, if they don't wear a mask, they have higher chances of getting the infection. Vicki Boney hopes this encourages more people to go get their shot. It's worth the very short time of the second vaccine if you have a side effect, and I think you've got to move forward. And with variants of COVID-19 spreading, O'Keefe says now is not the time to act like the pandemic is over. We're not really up to the level where where we can we think herd immunity might be. But I feel like there's a light at the end of the tunnel. O'Keefe is hopeful that better days are ahead. I think the light is there. Um, it's not bright yet, <laughs> um, you know, but it's there. We're getting there. Something to keep in mind, the city's mask mandate doesn't expire until May 25th. The city's prosecutor office told me that you can still get cited if you don't wear a mask indoors. Reporting live at the Old Market, Quinesia Fraser, KETV News Watch 7.